Now, Action 10's Cole Vaughn with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. All right, welcome back everybody. Well, here at I-37 and Suntide this morning, the fog wasn't too, too bad, but overnight we saw those little waves of sea fog rolled in, so it just kind of depended on when exactly you were out. But you can see the cloudy skies that stick around for most of the morning, a little bit of sunshine here and there, and a lot of times it wasn't even sunshine, it was just kind of brightening, I guess. The sun was kind of barely trying to make it through the cloud cover there. You see now the sea fog is sitting over the Gulf of Mexico. I do still anticipate it rolling in as we head into the overnight hours tonight. So here it is right here in this a kind of white foggy shaded color that's going to start to move further inland through the overnight tonight. I don't expect it to move as far inland though. So places a little bit further inland like Beeville, Orange Grove and Alice, you probably have a little bit better chance of not seeing it get quite as thick tonight as what you have for the past couple of nights. Now the humidity remains a big problem outside temperature. Those dew point temperatures are in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. That is pretty much as, as humid as it's going to get here in the coastal bend during the spring months. Now this is going to continue into tomorrow, but we are going to start start to see some changes as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So you see that as we head into tomorrow, those dew points are still in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Cold front starts to move through by about midday tomorrow, and that's going to bring in a little bit drier air off to our west. Still going to be very humid here in Corpus Christi at lunchtime. Then as we get further into the afternoon, say picking up the kids from school, some of us are going to get a drop in the humidity. Some of us aren't, especially right there along the coastline. I think Corpus Christi is probably going to remain fairly muggy throughout the day tomorrow. Further off to the West places like Beeville, Orange Grove, Alice, Hebronville, you're likely to see a pretty decent drop in that humidity tomorrow afternoon. By tomorrow night, it goes all away. We're going to see the cold front move back to the north as a warm front, and we're going to see the humid conditions take over the area once again. Then as we get into Thursday, the cold front will finally pass all the way through the area. We'll get rid of it uh, once and for all, and we're going to see the dew points drop down into the 20s and the 30s. Much more pleasant outside in terms of the humidity. So we're going to be on a bit of a roller coaster for the next couple of days in terms of those humidity levels. Now I want to show you the satellite and radar. First off, we do, ha do have this cold front that is sitting over New Mexico, already a tornado watch that's been issued for portions of West Texas and southeastern New Mexico as well in preparation for this cold front moving through. There could be some severe weather with it up there to our north. I don't expect to see any of that here in the coastal bend. So we'll show you here on future tracker. Here's that line of showers we expect with the cold front tomorrow. So here's where it is by lunchtime. You see some folks probably going to get a little bit of a decent shower by tomorrow afternoon. The better chances are going to be up there to the north of the coastal bend. Overall, don't be surprised. You might need that umbrella for tomorrow. Even here in Corpus Christi, I think by later in the afternoon, we've still got a decent shot at it. Then as we get into uh, Wednesday night, we're going to see mostly cloudy skies take back over. Once that cold front starts to move further down to the south for the second time, there may be another line of showers that moves through. Overall, I don't expect it to be intense or to be much of a problem for our forecast. Now, high temperatures for the next five days. This is where we're going to see another big change. Tomorrow, very warm, 86 degrees. Wouldn't be surprised if some folks, especially off to the west, hit that 90 degree mark. Cold front moves through, barely drops us for Thursday, and then we're down into the 60s for Friday and the weekend. So for tomorrow's forecast, some patchy fog again to start the day, likely cloudy as well making it up to around 86 for that afternoon high temperature. We'll start to see more sun as we head into the afternoon, though. If you plan to be out there at the beaches, temperatures in the low 70s, lots of sunscreen, though, because the UV index is high and the rip current risk will be high as well. So for your seven day forecast, the next three days, that's where we see the big temperature change from 86 tomorrow down to 63 as we head into Friday. Seeing a little more sunshine for tomorrow and Thursday before we start to bring back the clouds again for this weekend and the start of next week. Drew.